and uh, one more thing to mention like uh, the ctc which i got in accenture and uh, my current ctc now it's 2x more than accenture hello everyone my name is abhishek welcome back to my channel so lot of times i keep getting this question on the youtube channel is cloud domain for freshers can a fresher get into cloud engineering role so in today's podcast i have puneet with me and this podcast uh, we will cover a lot of things so puneet secured an offer as a cloud intern a uh, cloud engineer and apart from that uh, puneet also got placed in college there was four months of gap so we'll also try to understand how puneet utilized this four months of time so yeah it's going to be interesting try to watch it till the end hi puneet hi hello firstly thanks for the opportunity i uh, never thought of doing a podcast with you and i'm grateful for this <laughs> you know, that's uh, thanks thanks for taking out your time uh, on a weekday puneet so okay. before we get started mm-hmm. can you briefly introduce yourself like where are you from where did you pursue your engineering and yeah. uh, everything that we should know yeah myself puneet and i am from bangalore itself and uh, i have completed my uh, b in computer science in uh, bangalore on uh, the college name is acs college of engineering it's a vtu university belongs to and uh, i have graduated in the month of june hmm. and uh, during my college days i started with the mon stack development and later i shifted to cloud domain with hmm. devops and during my college days i got an offer with cognizant which i didn't join because i had an another offer of uh, accenture because of ctc was more hmm. and later uh, after getting those uh, result and uh, bgv mails and all i never got the uh, joining letter itself like, from accenture uh, from accenture and it was been like 4 uh, months i didn't even got any mail i have reached out to accenture support team and all but hmm. uh, they said like it is completely based on business requirements and uh, yeah that was the problem got it so uh, you completed your college 2024 uh, june mm-hmm. am i right yeah yes right perfect so see lot of times when people get an opportunity they keep to i mean they tend to keep waiting so mm-hmm. even in your case you got opportunity from accenture which is a good company but how are you preparing yourself during this four months because you thought that okay i'll not only wait for accenture to give me the joining date but at the same time i'll also keep looking for opportunities outside yeah after few weeks like one month and all i have uh, contacted with my seniors and they were said like uh, if you have an offer with accenture then you definitely have to wait for 2 <laughs> to 3 months that was the statement that i got from my seniors and all okay. so during that time now uh, i thought like uh, as i was interested in cloud i have uh, joined like google arcade program and all oh nice mm. and uh, i was always wanted to get into devops mm. i had an idea of devops like uh, the tools and all but uh, never had uh, opportunity in learning those things so i came across your youtube channel in the month of december end i guess mm. so that's the time where i started devops and uh, your youtube channel and your content it's absolutely fantastic but but how did you uh, get a thought of devops like you know a lot of people ask me this question as freshers uh, mm-hmm. you know can we get into devops and i have seen everyone like 99% of people they focus on full stack development yes and they feel that full stack is the only route to get into uh, it industry yeah. so in your case how did you think of devops and cloud yeah frankly speaking when it comes to on campus placements the companies which comes to on campus they won't look for like domain knowledge like uh, cloud or anything like data science they just need a person with the programming knowledge yeah. and a basic understanding on dsa data structures as well but uh, when you try in off campus there are a lot of opportunities for the fresher as well in the cloud devops and all so i came across this uh, i searched on linkedin like uh, i came good. to know like uh, there are uh, several companies product based companies who will hire uh, cloud engineer devops roles for the trainee role and all hmm. so from there i had a thought like let's start devops because i was interested in devops and all 
so nice. then from then i started very and, nice and uh, during the learning time itself i started applying for companies like uh, if we start applying before 2 months then uh, we will get the opportunity as they will retrieve later itself mm-hmm. like it will take like one and of months so how much started, time how much time did you take for the entire preparation and uh, where did you start from because as a fresher i'm mm-hmm. sure devops must be complete uh, gray area for you right yeah so how much time did it take and where did you actually start learning from yeah let uh, i had an uh, experience in working in development and yeah. uh, i didn't had an idea of how the deployment works in the background mm. so i had uh, experience in learning uh, gcp like creating virtual machines and uh, virtual network and all mm. but uh, actual devops tools like when it comes to docker containerization jenkins ci cd those things mm. i am not aware of those things such things mm. so i started with your channel itself like uh, devops zero to hero i have completed all those uh, playlist in a one end of month oh wow with hands in with hands on experience like oh. uh, that's the main thing we with devops we have to have hands on experience mm. and uh, the projects you thought like shell script projects and ci cd maven projects mm-hmm. and uh, that was nice and after that uh, i learned aws playlist mm. from your channel itself and azure and uh, in in one of your video you said about code cloud like they mm-hmm. are providing a free so i have Relapse. also explored, yeah i have also explored those things as well for health nice. chart and all Yeah, Very these nice. things help for me. So for the thing, content, hmm. I have used your channel and the code cloud. That's it. Very nice. Very nice. So one thing that I that I understand from your journey. Mm-hmm. So after your college, you also enrolled to Google Cloud program. No, right? no, that was uh, during the college itself. Oh, during the college itself. Yeah, in that. Th- oh. No, actually, I've started uh, for cloud in the third year itself. later oh. i came to know like uh, the companies that are coming to college they will only look for full stack development or uh, dsa. dsa so then what's the point of studying in devops and all we, <laughs> we don't have an idea which domain we will get in the company yeah, because the yeah. pressure they can assign any domain for us they can even assign us to testing also yeah uh, so that's the reason i stopped it stopped it there itself and uh, after uh, during the waiting of uh, accenture joining i came back to the cloud Okay, okay. Now I think that's a very good point. What you are trying to say. So during college, during the on-campus placements, what recruiters is look for? Uh, recruiters look for is core programming skills and sometimes DSA. Yeah. But when you join a company, you can work on different domains. Yes. That's what you are trying to say. When mm. you started exploring opportunities offline, you came to know about. Uh, devops there are a lot of opportunities on linkedin and other platforms right yeah when it comes to off campus we can target for the particular domain itself mm. if yeah. we had devops we can target for devops if we had an interest in data analyst or data science we can target for those things but how did you manage to look for opportunities offline like a lot of people they update their profile on nowcree they prepare mm-hmm. resume and uh, they keep sending the resumes to a lot of companies in your yeah. case you said you got two opportunities mm-hmm. yeah uh, i've started applying in linkedin itself and oh. uh, main, the linkedin profile should be well maintained and uh, should be updated with the projects and all and uh, the recruiter itself reached out to me in the linkedin oh okay they they found your profile yeah first i have applied hmm. and uh, then he reached out to me so for for the one company for like i mentioned discover dollar for that the recruiter itself reached out and for the euro monitor international which i have joined for that uh, they retrieved the mail i got a mail from that so when you say you know you have to build linkedin profile you have to show projects like what kind of projects you worked on and how did you build your linkedin profile was it easy or did it take time No, I have uh, searched on YouTube like how to optimize LinkedIn profile, how hmm. to keep posting like what content should be posted on LinkedIn, hmm. and uh, how the resume should be look like for a DevOps particular role, hmm. and what kind of projects it is required for a resume for the DevOps role. Those things I have did. Like what kind of projects did you put there? 
like uh, have mentioned two project with respect to devops one is a ci cd pipeline for a java application which you thought and another one is a min stack uh, containerization okay min and, stack uh, with, yeah yeah min angular okay, min stack min stack okay oh. Hmm. Yeah, with the uh, Nginx reverse reverse proxy, that's hmm. one project. That's it. And uh, during the interviews, were interviewers focusing on that projects, or did they help you in any ways? Should I need to explain the both the interviews that I got? No, no, just like uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. it might help people. So if like, you can explain, like, how did the interview go? Mm -hmm. uh, probably it, it will help. Yeah, in the the Discover Dollar, which I mentioned, it's a startup based AI company. They assigned a project like uh, containerizing a Mun stack application, which okay. I already did with respect to Min. Just okay. changed those things and uh, submitted the assessment. And after that, uh, I got a call for a interview virtual, which was completely focused on DevOps, like okay. uh, from the Bash commands to Kubernetes commands. And the architecture, Kubernetes architecture, Jenkins, and all those things. And they even uh, had to, and they also asked me to write a small shell script, which was easy. Okay. Not much complicated because uh, as a fresher, they won't expect much with uh, these yeah. roles. Yeah. Because nobody learns no, DevOps and all as a fresher. <laughs> That's the yeah. advantage in uh, DevOps domain. Do do you see that as an advantage? Like a yeah. lot of lot of your friends might be applying for full stack. So yeah, that's an advantage because most of them go behind full stack and all, and the competition is very much there. And uh, in DevOps, there is there is a competition, but not much as compared to full stack. Hmm. Because if we consider an organization company, there will be like uh, hundreds of software engineers or uh, hundreds of full stack developers. When it comes to cloud domain, there will be around like 20, 10 to 15 DevOps engineers. That's it. The competition is less and the capacity also less. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So overall, what you're trying to say is you built your profile uh, in LinkedIn. We'll also try to share your LinkedIn profile so that others can take a look at that. We'll put that in description. Mm -hmm. So overall, the key role that played was how you built your LinkedIn profile and how do you how did you add your projects in the resume, is it? Yes, that's the thing. And uh, the explanation, like uh, in the interview, like if we has, if they ask BNET architecture, virtual network, the hmm. way the explanation should be, it should be point to point. That's hmm. the thing. Got it. And as a fresher, uh, as a fresher, did you also face any rejections? Like when you applied for opportunities on LinkedIn? Yeah. Like, uh, emails or anything. Yeah, those things I even I got. Like uh, they will be looking like uh, one year experience, mm. six months experience. Even mm. for those roles I have applied, but for those roles I didn't got shortlisted. Oh, okay, you applied for one year opportunity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because okay. I had an internship opportunity, internship experience. Okay. Of, uh, but it wasn't on uh, cloud domain. It was a junior backend developer. Okay. Okay. And. Um, like on LinkedIn, especially I'm trying to focus on LinkedIn because your opportunities mm -hmm. came from LinkedIn. Yes. So on LinkedIn, uh, networking also uh, played any critical role. Were you attending any conferences or were you attending uh, any virtual meetings? No, no. 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 Okay. Uh, I have attended like uh, one Microsoft meet, but it wasn't like it wasn't uh, helpful for me to get the job. Okay. And... Talking about your resume, uh, mm -hmm. one question people have is, as a fresher, how can you build your DevOps resume? So in your college, your engineering project might be on something completely different, right? Yeah. So on your resume, how did you show your DevOps experience? Like I uh, have mentioned three projects. Oh, no, okay. four projects. Okay. The top two project was based on DevOps. Oh, okay. Cloud. And the uh, next project was on my final year project. And uh, the bottom project was my on uh, full stack development. It's not like you have to mention all the DevOps project. No, company won't look for the, th those things. It's okay, you can mention the other projects as well because they will be have an idea. Like he have other domain knowledge as well. He can mm. learn those things as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
like during this entire journey what was the difficult part for you like while you were learning this devops and cloud mm-hmm. uh, did you feel at any point uh, okay i am not getting this or let me go back to back end or was it always a, a smooth learning path yeah even my friends have started learning devops but they stopped in mid mid itself because uh, we have we won't get the actual hands on experience because we have to pay when mm-hmm. it comes to like uh, creating a virtual network in aws and all mm-hmm. we have to pay some dollars which nobody can do if if they had credits that's good if not uh, so and, practical uh, learning yeah experience. practical learning experience would not get uh, like uh, when it comes to like kubernetes hmm 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 i used minikube as you okay. know in the in your video but i haven't tried like aks or eks and all hmm. that's the another problem with the uh, cloud if we had credits that's good yeah if we uh, don't have at least we have to watch that video like how hmm. to create and all we will get an idea got it at least the theoretical understanding yeah that would be helpful in the interviewer We but one good thing is uh, you know for students especially mm-hmm. for students a lot of people might not know this uh, microsoft azure provides a lot yeah. of mm-hmm. uh, aws yeah. you can create an account and um, you know you can request for a waiver of saying that mm-hmm. i am a student and i was been a microsoft student ambassador and i got some credits from there as well how yeah. did you apply for it oh uh, it was uh, in third year i guess in my uh, college days i haven't remember those things yeah. like uh, there's a portal to apply for mm. microsoft student ambassador and we have to make a video of our introduction and all mm. and we have to send those things and they will approve those got it got it so overall your learning path has been like you were following code cloud and uh, our channel from where you yes. learned the concepts and you were doing the theoretical and practical hands on experience yeah perfect so we will uh, try to share your linkedin profile in description the reason for doing this podcast uh, it's a very short podcast but reason for doing it lot of students one thing that you can take back from punit uh, you know punit got an opportunity with accenture but because of that four months delay so he started looking for opportunities outside and even outside the back end so that's where he got two opportunities in devops and cloud so as a fresher you can still get opportunities in devops and cloud you can go through punit's linkedin profile and if possible we'll also share uh, the resume format by masking all the important details so thank you so much and, punit uh, one more thing to mention like uh, there are some telegram groups whatsapp group where uh, many people are still waiting for accenture oh joining and even i was the part of that group as well <laughs> like uh, they can start learning other things and uh, they can start applying for other opportunities hmm. accenture and uh, these uh, service based mnc companies are not uh, only companies we have we have hmm. lots of companies and uh, one more thing to mention like uh, the ctc which i got in accenture and uh, my current ctc now it's 2x more than accenture oh wow Oh, like, so so like the time that you spent and the risk that you have taken, it's not yeah. this completely. It, it was worth worth to wait, and uh, it was completely worth for it. Very nice, very nice, Pune. Good to know that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, thank you so much for your time today. And um, yeah, if you, you if you remember anything else, you can also drop a comment once the video is live. And mm-hmm. some people might reach reach out to you on LinkedIn. So please take out some time and try to help them. Sure, sure. thank you thank for thanks for the opportunity thanks everyone